Hey guys, welcome back to my next Unity tutorial video. So, we have this giant thing that creates game objects in an order, but we also need to know when to move one of those platforms to be in front of platforms. So, we want something that is some sort of minimum distance to recycle. So, public float or distance to recycle. And we're going to use this value in our update to determine if we should recycle uh, some platforms. And we're also going to need a reference to the player um, public game object runner. So we're going to compare this, the runner's distance, the runner's position to the recycle distance. Okay. So to do that, what we're going to do is say if the position of the last platform or of the zeroth platform dot transform dot position plus our recycle distance is less than greater than our sorry less than our player reference or runner reference transform dot position dot x dot x so if this is true, we want to do something similar to this system. So we want to say a game object g equals platform sub zero. So we're taking the last plat or the first platform from our array or list, and then we're going to remove it from that list as well. Remove G. And then at the very end of this, we're also going to add it after we've done some manipulations. We can go ahead and copy this stuff and paste that there because we're going to want to regenerate uh, a new physics mat and the uh, material. So now we also need to move it. So we also want to do something like this. And we also want to scale it. So we can just go ahead and copy this stuff. And this should work. Let's see what happens. Now, oh, get a sign. Oops. So, because we're using the runner to determine some stuff, we need to actually assign him to this, and we need some distance. Let's say 20. And if you look, they're placing in front of each other even though I fell. But now when you die, your last position isn't here. It would be here, or we could reset the entire thing. So it's easier to reset the whole thing. So let's go ahead and create another empty object and call this a manager. And set this at zero, zero, zero. And then we're going to take the platform manager and drag it to our prefab sorter, and then delete it. So our manager is going to make a prefab folder, and our runner is going to wait. We need one more script. Let's go ahead and create an OC scrub script called a plat or a manager. I mean, a manager. And a manager is going to have a reference to. 
public game object platform manager and we're going to drag in the prefab here and on the start we're going to say game object oh yeah let's go ahead and go to platform manager we're going to tag this oh yeah to tag something go to the tag uh, go to add tag in the add tags you see this tag manager um, it has tags and then a list of tags um, we're going to add one at element zero and we're just going to call this um, P manager and then we're going to go back to the platform manager and tag it with that so it should look like that and then we're going to say game object g equals instantiate platform manager comma vector 3.0 quaternion dot identity as game object and if we just do that click play it will make a platform manager but we still have to get the player to him because he has no reference in here and you can't drag it in like that so what we're going to do is we're going to take the tag thing on the runner and we're going to drag it and we're going to apply a player to it and we're going to say g dot get component we're going to do this in the platform manager g game object player or runner ref equals game object dot find game object tag player so this will find the game object with the tag player which is the runner now so if you click play everything works and even if we get pretty far and the platforms all rearrange themselves now I just need to alright and then we fall we have still reset and now we need to reset the platform manager and the platform manager is going to be reset with a function void reset and what this is going to do is just going to do this slot again so we can just call reset here now before we reset it we want to destroy the old one and when we die we're going to find it and then we're going to destroy it which is why we named it pmanager and unity has a function called destroy and it takes a game object as an argument as long as I spell anything wrong and this should work so our platforms are moving and if we fall oh, we also need to call reset which is in the manager so we can go ahead and add a tag and say um, just manager
and we can say game object dot find object tag. Now you can also find these by just the names if you want to just use game object dot find, but it's typically easier just to use a tag and then get component manager dot reset which we'll now call this function to instantiate a new one so let's go ahead and click play get somewhere where they reset all and allow them to be set. So now our game continuously grows outwards and our platforms also reset. Alright. So to fix the runner's jumpy behavior, let's go back and look at its physics material and we're going to set this stuff to zero and we're also going to stretch these to the maximum and then let's go ahead and click play and then let's go ahead and set this guy's weight up a little bit more So we have a pretty basic runner. The faster you go, the higher you end up jumping. Alright. Alright, so to fix the jumping, um, turns out it's pretty easy. So we just go back to this line over here and we're going to use a command called a get button down and we're going to use the word jump. And this thing is located if you go to edit project settings input and there are a thing called an axis and this is the word jump right here, the name and it has a button called uh, space and you can also set other keys up to it and now we click play and we press jump, we jump slightly instead of uh, very very high and this will end the uh, video series um, thank you for watching and I hope to see you for the next one alright bye Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, click on any of the links on the screen to view our other videos and be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.